that's how, what we love to do. We love to, to work with fire and to this, this new combustion chamber is, uh, it's always a thrill to, to bring it to life. This is the lobby door. Well, first of all, it's pretty thick and heavy. And made out of one piece, look at that. Spacings are CNC cut inside this door. Look at that. And I personally very much like these facet finishing. Look at that. Follow me. Unloaded uh, inside, so there's no rain on the steel. And since our suppliers are in, a, in the closer proximity, we can work with the limited stock and still have a delivery time more or less than a month. Sometimes it's an average of, of less than two weeks, okay. which is fantastic. It's not really necessary. I mean, the product people are buying, our customers are buying, will last for, I don't know, a lifetime. To work with a very thick cordage, instead of using a 90 degree angle, which is very common, we use 45 degree angles, um, which prevents the, the thick cordage from, from creating extra thickness at every corner. I haven't seen it before, actually. Good question, no. Silicon pad, so you can safely open the door. It's just the same thickness as the side. Fits perfectly. I like this. Uh, nice and warm because we need to heat this place so the steel has a certain temperature before it is processed. Now, just imagine that the spray paint we use is heat resistant up to a temperature above 600 degrees. That's the, I, I find that amazing. Uh, I still, still don't know exactly how that's possible. Uh, I actually want to know. Maybe I should visit them. This is the back casing of the Saran. It's simple. It's simplicity. <laughs> you see me doing this? That's uh, that's the shape. It makes you, it makes you want to cuddle it. I don't know. So that's Mark, our craftsman for the spray paint. They shift. They work in shifts. So Jason works as a spray painter and also in the preparation. So then they know what to do exactly because they're aware of the next phase. Done by hand as well. This is a monocoque construction, meaning that the casing is made out of one part. You can see it starts here and it ends here. And that adds a lot of strength actually with a part that we cut out for the back casing of the Saran. As less lost material as possible. But I like that, that it's done by hand. I like that it's difficult. Uh, it's a challenge that it's hard. If it's hard for us, it's hard for everybody, I can imagine. How we finish this created uh, an opening in the in the top part the hotter this part gets uh, the more ventilation is created keeping this handle cool now you know and every stove is built by by the guy or woman that starts it from top to bottom with one guy working on the stove and building the complete stove we can talk to him about possible improvements on the, on the product uh, uh, it's, a, it's a great product, but there's always something that, that can be improved or made simpler. And simple is always better. It is capable of staying on operating temperature with one log. And with one log, I mean a log that weighs less than one kilogram. That, that is quite special. It wasn't meant to be introduced. It was just us looking for different combustion techniques. And then there was the Boxer Plus, and then someone saw it and told us, this is a fantastic stove, you should maybe try to sell it. And we did, and it was a bestseller. 
in, uh, in the first year after we introduced it. The favorite place is uh, the, the, the development, but we're not going there. I'm forbidden to do that. <laughs> and this is uh, how these cast aluminium tacks come from still see what kind of material it is. Full grain natural tanned leather, it will, it will become more beautiful with the years you use it. I think we're um, quite unique. We, we have about 40 models with 12 combustion chambers. That is, um, is that, that's outstanding. And it, it tells something about who we are, how we are in this business. So when we come up with a design, we make the combustion chamber for this design instead of having a combustion chamber and trying to design something around it. We do not hesitate to completely develop a new, well, do, to, to develop a completely new combustion chamber. There's always a, a lot of colleagues coming up in the laboratory to have a cup of coffee when we first lit the new combustion chamber. And it's always surprising. This family Buchauer in Austria is uh, ex expecting a lobber. <laughs> I will never see them again. <laughs>